Okay, we're out here in the parking lot of the Republican. The, uh, the temperature gauge over there says 14 degrees. I'm trying to uh, do a little research, see how long it takes the uh, cold weather to, to drain a uh, average cell phone battery. My colleague, Greg Salmon, was gracious enough to lend me his, his cell phone. It says it is at 79 degrees, 79%, and we're gonna see how long before the battery goes kaput. I gotta say, it's really cold. This phone is down to 69%. Same time, my phone, which was at 99%, is now at 85. Okay, it's been about 25 minutes or so. Uh, Greg's phone, right here, is down to 63%. That's from just sitting there and not doing anything, except for me occasionally pushing this little button to see what time it is. Oh, 62%. Meanwhile, my phone, which started out at 99%, is now at 72 uh, Of course, I'm using mine more than his. Uh, it's really cold here. Uh, 14 degrees, as I said earlier. Uh, not fit for man nor beast, as they say. We're bringing this little experiment to a close. Uh, it's now 1.15. Greg's phone is at 62%, again, just from sitting there. My phone is now at 70% from using it during the same period. He started out at 77, I started out at 98, if I recall. Everything that I've read so far says in cold weather, cold weather affects all cell phones, anything that runs on a battery but it especially affects it if you're using it in the cold, as I've been using it, using, using it to record video and checking the time and doing all this other stuff. I would love to stick around out here to get this under 60%. I feel like that would validate the, the scientific purpose of this, but gosh, it's really cold. So I'm gonna pack it in. Final numbers, I'm at 69% on my phone. He's at 62% on his. Signing off from my station Zebra, here in the Republican parking lot.